previously on Oxventure. Guided by the mysterious orb, the Oxventurers travel to the notorious island prison of Alcatraz, home to the orb's first missing piece. Despite many obstacles, including unpleasant guards, cannibalistic prisoners, and a fight with a powerful necromancer and his thralls, our brave heroes manage to recover the first shard needed to complete the orb's mysterious work. We join them now as they leave the prison and prepare to learn more about their quest and where they will voyage next. Will it be somewhere nice? or somewhere horrible full of necromancers again. Only the orb knows for sure. So you're all in the bottom of this enormous prison tower. Um, the smell of uh, burned up, reanimated dead, and indeed slightly slightly singed Dob is heavy in the air. Everything has gone black except for the orb, which now it has the shard in it, uh, has begun to glow. As you watch, it repeats the same thing it did last time. Little motes start to puff out from the very top of the orb. And, you know, they, they start to swirl and then they coalesce into an image again. And you again see a spinning little key. Um, mm. If you look closely, you'll see that this one has a different marking on the top of it to the one you just acquired. And again, it starts to, to sort of pan out the camera. And it seems to be sort of in a room with a lot of treasure in it, sort of jewels and, and gold and all sorts of things. And then it it pulls back out into a very grand room with a very large chair in it that's completely bare of other furniture and it pulls out from there and um, Corazon, you in particular start to get a weird tingly feeling just at the base of your neck where your glorious luscious locks meet your, um, your scalp and this sense only seems to grow as it starts to pull out and show sort of a very very large ancient looking building made of these really big slabs that have come together it almost looks like a sort of abandoned temple it is very much overgrown with vines and as it continues to pull out you see there are a whole bunch of sort of um, houses and little shanties and um, there are streets and it continues to pull out and shows that it is in the middle of an absolutely enormous jungle it continues to pull out the jungle gets bigger and bigger until well, absolutely everyone here guesses that this must be the Tangle, which is a very large sort of rainforest slash jungle in Gath. People don't explore it very much because it tends to be very deadly. And Corazon, you were sort of raised on, you know, reading those like adventure tales for... Oh, the pulp novels, yeah. Yeah, exactly, for young scoundrels. You were raised on a, a healthy diet of those, and then, of course, becoming a rogue and, and a thief. Um, your... King Gethamon's Mines was my favourite. It's oh, uh, an absolute classic. But um, you recognise this place as the court of the Thief Queen. And to be honest, you thought this was a myth. Hmm. Yeah, this isn't a real place, right? This is an illustration from a book, surely. I mean, it certainly looks like one. But the prison was real, and we're in the prison right now. You grew up knowing of this location, and it looks exactly how you always imagined it, but it, you honestly thought... It was a myth, and in any case, uh, even if the location is real, there's been no actual thief queen for centuries. Like it's an amusing fairy tale that rogues tell one another, and it's also a very popular um, costume uh, uh, for for Halloween. Mm. Why is that? What? Uh, why is that, Corazon? Uh, ha ha Cor <laughs> Corazon, having just told us all this, what <laughs> what does the thief queen look like? Uh, well, Dob, I'm so glad you asked. Uh, she's got a big uh, hat which is like a, a lockpick and she's got uh, her arms are uh, crowbars yeah <laughs> and her, her uh, legs are uh, bags of loot and her face is a big money symbol does that not make it quite noisy when she walks the loot <laughs> legs yeah she's quite easy to outpace if she sort of <laughs> clatters along on her crowbar legs I didn't think it was actually something that's real but I mean mm. Like ghosts. Uh, sure, hey, but like ghosts. But it, I mean, it's it showed us the prison, and the prison was real and had a thing. Well, could I mean, it, could this be real? So, so it, it shows that it's in the Tangle, right? Which is uh, a, a forest so dense and deadly that even I wouldn't go larking around in there, sleeping under the sky, because the, the it's... <laughs> swinging from the vines. <laughs> 
free as can be. <laughs> yeah. Naked yeah. as the day you were born. The, yeah. the, can, the canopy is, is <laughs> too thick and overbearing. It's, I, I, everything I know about the tangle may, leads me to dread it. Yeah. What's the range on one of these balloons? One of, sorry, which one? Oh, one you of know, the, the airship One balloons. of the airship that yeah. gets you out. Well, assuming uh, we could steal one, I guess it would... Well, I mean, infinite as long as we can keep finding fuel, which I'm sure we hmm. will be able to. What's the current alarm situation right now? <laughs> oh, minimal. Um, minimal. Oh, okay. okay. As you'll remember, uh, Sulpicius, the scourge of mankind, killed like pretty much all of the guards. Yeah. Um, yeah and did. his 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 nascent undead army was uh, was horribly burned. The the prisoners that are still in the prison aren't going to be troubling you anytime soon. I don't think. I think a lot of them are just going to be quite content to either stay in their cells or attempt to escape once you've left. Right. So right. we could head all the way up to the airship platform and try and get an airship. Borrow if, an airship, yes. I mean, if the if the Palace of the Thief Queen is a real thing, this would be the a find of the century. There's. It was full of full of treasure, yeah. Yeah, I saw more gold it. there we than we it. could ever possibly spend, with the exception of Dob, maybe. And you were <laughs> nervous, Corazon, about following the shard clues. Yeah, I'm all on board. I'm all in now. Let's let's go. This Quite is literally gonna be amazing. all aboard, I say, yeah. as I close the door to the airship we've successfully <laughs> stolen. <laughs> um, Good try. I'm going to say that you were having this conversation while on your way up from the basement of the cellar. <sighs> How um, many Quite is it? literally all aboard. <laughs> um, it's, it's, it's a long climb. It's like best part of an hour to get to the top. Wow. Hey, if anyone wants a chicken thigh. Help yourself for the quick energy you'll need. I don't think I can look at one ever again, to be honest. No thanks, Corazon. At least the climb gets um, less gruesome as you get past, you know, all of the the charred bodies and, of course, the the corpse of drumsticks. Oh. Um, oh. Uh, you try not to look into drumsticks. As I, ca- I can't as help hell. but feel partly responsible. <laughs> you have a you have a twinge of guilt, and you sort of two shares in the guilt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have a good long think about yourself and your path to redemption as you sort of climb. I didn't know it was the cannibal thing. I thought I was just securing him. You it would have been safer, probably in there if it weren't for the cannibal guy. Anyway, it's fine, probably. I I'm seeing none of this, by the way, because I've just gone in the dumb waiter because I thought it would be fun. <laughs> I'm in the middle, just like. <laughs> it's it is fun and like quite a lot faster. Although your arms are just fully leaden by the time you get out. You know, like when you sleep on your arm and you wake up and it's just mm. done. Like you're just like that. But, by the um, way, mm. um, I mean, uh, Egbert. Yes. I don't want to be presumptive, but I I wonder if maybe I would climb quicker if. My back skin wasn't all scorched off. It's making it quite sore to sort of <laughs> move. Uh, yeah. It's not too much trouble. I, 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 it's gonna be I, real sore. On, I don't want to put you out. Honestly, I would do it myself, except it's in a spot I can't quite reach. <laughs> well, you know, Dob, we've got spell slots now, and so I'm gonna have to be a lot more careful about what I. Uh... No, that no, that's that's, I mean, that's more than. Of course, fair, in the fiction it? of the game, a spell slot is. A... In the fiction of the game, uh, a spell slot is Egbert not giving a crap about Dob. <laughs> Uh, fine. Shall I? Uh, uh, why not? I, pre- I press a chicken thigh onto Dob's wound. To see if oh, it's so oh. infected. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just um, moving around a bit. Is this helping? Uh, uh, it's an old, it's an old sea remedy. I it used hurts to use. a lot. Does that mean it it's healing? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll cast cure wounds on yeah, Dob. Yeah, you have a nice long rest on the airship. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna cast it in a, sec- uh, a second level spell <laughs> slot as well. Okay. Oh, if you would. <laughs> I mean, don't wow. put yourself out. Gosh, what did I do to deserve this? <laughs> um, so you uh, can. This is your birthday present, Dob. And and, uh, and Christmas. Winter solstice and festival. Winter. Yeah, yeah Fishmas. Uh, you can uh, have two uh, d eight and uh, plus three, basically. Mm. Okay. Health. I think we have to peel I... the, the kind of scorched clothing out of the back oh. flesh first. Do I need Otherwise, to... you're going to heal it all up in there. So can yeah. I roll something sort to of... see how much this chicken thigh is healing? <laughs> yeah, roll me, um, roll me a D nothing. <laughs> Just make me a charisma check. <laughs> okay, it's an eleven. It's, like, it's it's working pretty much as expected. Like, well, I mean, there's nothing wrong with the chicken or your methodology. Um, Dob Dob clearly just doesn't want to get healed that much. You're like, mm. <laughs> 
This isn't, doing, great, want this it. isn't doing wonders for him, but... Bad uh, attitude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's his problem. Well, I, I've rolled a uh, uh, 11 total, plus nice. the, with the modifier added, so 11 hit points. Great. But I'm going to need a good. really big sleep on that airship. Mm-hmm. Nice. <laughs> Feeling basically all the way nearly a lot better. <laughs> you are going to need a new tunic, though, because at the moment it's just like an apron. It's just like the front backless. part. <laughs> like, the a, like a hospital gown. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's all hanging out in the back. It's like be- yeah. the beginning of Metal Gear Solid Five in here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, it really, really is. So, in the interest of differentiating this uh, from it, let's not let it drag on too long. Uh, you hey. get hey. onto the uh, the roof of the tower where sort of the, the blimps come in and alight. There isn't one currently up there right now, but mm. there is one sort of slowly circling uh, the tower. I look around for signals or lights or something like that. that yeah, make me, a, um, make me an investigation check just to search the area. Those of you who have a good look at the blimp, you can see that it is a pretty small craft. It'll probably fit all of you, but it's got like a searchlight on it and it's clearly there to just sort of survey the area around rather than making bigger trips to and from, say, Bedford or, you know, it's not like full of assault troopers or anything like that. So it doesn't look like it's responding to an emergency like prison breakout or anything. It's just a standard... Standard surve- surveillance sort of airship? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Like, es- escapees are unlikely, but they're, they're cautious anyway. Okay, can I, I'm going to get it down here. Can I, I see rolled a critical see one, of... Johnny. Oh, okay. oh. Uh, yeah, sure, Dob. Um, you find what appears to you to be some sort of enormous flare gun. Ah, it's I fire it into of... the sky. Okay, uh, make me a dex attack, please. Okay. <laughs> Attack! That blimp's Sorry, coming down, roll. isn't it? Oh, okay. Twenty-one. Wow. Is that good? Oh no! Did I promise? <laughs> <laughs> the blimp <laughs> you explodes. <laughs> the cannonball crashes into the side of uh, the blimp, oh. and you kind of see the 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 envelope kind of crumple inwards just before it ruptures, and then. Oh no. <laughs> The whole thing goes up. I did in uh, oh. a fireball that consumes the, oh, the gondola. They use hydrogen and, um, as well. I turn around slowly to the rest of the group and I say, "Now." <laughs> yes, yeah, stop. Phase one of the plan is complete. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. What's phase, phase two? Phase two is we take the, the the ruined smoking wreckage and we turn it into a much smaller, lighter, faster craft. I mean, it was already quite small compared to the other ones. Uh, okay, do you want to keep going over phase one or do you want to press on to phases two and three? <laughs> well, I I mean, it's it's exploded, Dob. I don't see how we're going to make it. Morazon's living a... in the past, everyone. I stop, <laughs> I stop pouring through the wreckage, burning my hands, looking for something. Well, I'm just, well, trying, to, I'm just, crashed to I'm the just trying to hide my embarrassment. It, it has crashed down onto sort of like the beach, basically, of um, of uh, this, this small island. You do see a boat... Um, that is kind of like in the same way that it was patrolling the skies, it was patrolling the sea. Um, I find my flare gun at the boat. No! <laughs> can, Where's no. he getting all these cannonballs? Can I wrestled up to the ground. <laughs> it, the um, the flare gun will require some. It will require you know swapping and then powder wadding shot. Oh. Like it's it's quite so a dob, long dob reload click, time. Dob clicks at the boat. How, how easy is it? for us to get down to the water side um because i know there was a lot of like weird vines and spikes but i just want to see is there a way down to the water yeah uh, make me a wisdom perception check you you imagine there has to be if they're patrolling the the sort of the shore then there's got to be something uh, indeed this boat is now tearing toward the wreckage and you see sort of three guards get out uh, all of them sort of bows Man. slung across Ten. their backs 10 Okay, you can make out that there are a couple of paths in the sort of the foliage down there, but you can't see like an obvious way to get down. Okay. Um, Just but... as planned, the crash has brought the boat to land, which we can use now to. to no go... time for your poems, Bard! <laughs> <laughs> Could we feather fall down there and avoid the, 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 the thorns and vines on the way down? If we could feather fall, but somehow also move horizontally, 
What if we used Egbert like a sort of propul- jet propulsion? <laughs> if we all hold on to Egbert and he fires <laughs> his... He fires his brain breath, breath, his breath. Right. in the direction yeah. we are like thinking don't want to go. And then yeah. we'll, we'll maintain a sort of diagonal vector away from the tower and past the vines. I'm game if you guys are. <laughs> um, yeah. I think, well, having used Featherfall already, I think I would need to rest before I can use it again. Oh. <laughs> Think of all the rest you would have had in that airship, and also think of how it wouldn't have required three days jungle trek to get to this magical temple or whatever. Yeah, that's true. Phase two. Yes. (laughs) I say climbing aboard Egbert. (laughs) (laughs) Um, All right, well, just let me have a little sit down for a second. (laughs) On Egbert. Corazon is sleepy. Corazon (laughs) needs a long rest. Maybe we have to spend another night in this prison. (laughs) No, wait, the boat will have gone. We have to get down there before the uh, the before the, the 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 three guards get back to their boat, right? Or yeah, what about a zip line? Meryl, when why don't you fire an zip arrow line. with a rope on it down there, and we can attach Egbert a, to that a grapnel. Yeah. Not Egbert. Leave Egbert out. His <laughs> Egbert's not part of the plan. <laughs> oh, I like to be part of the plan. Zip line excitingly down to the yeah. beach. Okay, I'd like to get my uh, 50 foot of hemp and rope. <laughs> and You're going to need all our 50 feet <laughs> yeah, of hemp and rope. Yeah, let's tie all our hemp and ropes together. Yeah. yeah. So 250 feet of hemp and rope. Perfect. Okay, and I would like to shoot down to just, just by the shoreline. Like, There's a nice, um, there's a small small rock just by, you know, just to get a good bit of oh, yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, make me a dex okay. roll. Don't forget your proficiency bonus mm-hmm. for the bow. Okay, so that is 22, I believe. Outstanding, yeah. You you bury the arrow right up to the fletching in this rock. It's a r- really good shot. And you, nice. Like, give an exploratory sort of tug. That that sucker ain't going anywhere. All you need to mm-hmm. is to harness this end hey. to something. And then that's that zip line, baby. Let me tie it with a nautical knot. Yeah, there must be moorings for the airships around here, like an iron ring in the ground or or, mm-hmm. or something like that. There, yeah. Yes, there is such an iron ring, just crying out for some sort of nautical or aeronautical knot. <laughs> nice. All right, I will tie that then. What kind of knot is it? Reef. Sounds good. The reef. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, okay, all right. Me, down give me a dex light of hand check just to, just to see how, oh. how good the knot is. Well, no, that's a 17 plus uh, 4, 21. Perfect. Yeah, great. This is a great type... Uh, Great zipline. You're almost tempted to sort of tightrope walk your way down, Corazon. Mm. Why don't you grease it up a bit for extra speed? No. Because no. uh, I don't want us <laughs> to crash into the rock and die, Egbert. That's... There's also a lot of friction anyway. So, like, grease and hot rope. <laughs> yeah, but there'd be less like... friction if it was greased. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I, pull, I pull out... What, I guess we'll have to use different items to go down on it. Yeah, with, I use but my I'll, bow. I'll pull uh, out my uh, grappling uh, hook. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh. Uh, what? Meryl, when? When did we get our stuff back? Have you gone and got your stuff back? <sighs> well, you obviously have... we stopped by the um, the. What's you've had the run of you've had the run item. of the prison and you've you've scaled the entire thing. Yeah, yeah, also, yeah. Meryl went, went up in a. Meryl went, went up in the dumbwaiter. Probably yeah. had a bit of time. Okay, Meryl, okay, okay, you've got my loot. Around. Amazing, and I yes. swing the loot over the rope. That bit of RPG where you have to fight your way back to your the chest with all your belongings in it. Mm-hmm. All right, I put my I put a dagger in my mouth and I get the grappling hook and I hold on. I say, "Come on, gang, you want to live forever?" And I know too late. I've jumped off with it. No, wait, 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 wait. Let's, wa- let's watch and see what happens to him, and then okay. we go down if it goes okay. <laughs> All right, we watch. Okay, dashed on. against the rocks. <laughs> I start to sort of sing exciting pirate music as I go. Okay. Um, Good luck, Corazon. Uh, got this. I'm going to say this is a strength athletics check. Oh no. You have to do a bit of a chin up to get over the vines. It's like, pure, yeah, it's pure grip strength, and you do have to sort of raise your little. Mm. Yeah, okay. use your core. Corazon, use your core. Corazon. <laughs> Corazon. Corazon, yes. yes. <laughs> it's an 18. Nice. Yeah, it's um, it's textbook. Yeah, you, you look exactly like the swashbuckling hero. Um, and I was worried there with my plus one strength modifier. <laughs> wow, that was, that was so unlike Corazon. It looked flawless. Yeah, I'm, I'm, even... I'm convinced I'm going to go. Okay. I'm going to pop my mace over the top of it and slide down like that. Strength athletics, please. All right. Can do. Uh, it's a seven plus... Um, What's the athleticism of a dragonborn? <laughs> plus four. Eleven. Okay. Um, Corazon. 
Mm-hmm. Could you please make me a deck saving throw? <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, it's an 18. Okay. Plus 4. 22. Um, you are, you, you're <laughs> dusting off your hands. You put your grappling hook away. The knife isn't out of your teeth yet, which is a good thing because you've, you've got to make another quick and, and roguelike maneuver. Yeah. Uh, you, you do like a diving roll and get back to your feet just as Egbert just like crump just hits the deck um, like toward the end of toward the end of the manoeuvre but it's you know when people's feet just shoot out from under them and they just like really smash their back into the floor um, oh, wow okay and let's call this egg but you take two points of damage oh no could have been slight, worse slight crick in my back but yeah. otherwise fine but it mm. fixed a different crick that you had in your neck great so yeah, swings roundabouts yep. you invented chiropractic <laughs> yeah. I turn around and give a thumbs up. Like, nice. All right. Well, I take the light crossbow that I obviously carry everywhere and never use, and mm-hmm. I sling it over the top of the zip line, and I zip line away. All right. Make me a strength athletics check, please. All right. My dice are all sealed up tight. Hang on. Pew. Oh, that's not great. Okay, that's a five. <laughs> okay. We're such yeah, a I've been skipping adventuring. leg day and arm day. <laughs> um. Everything except horn day. Yeah. <laughs> yep, 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 uh, yep, yep, yep. You take uh, three <gasps> points of damage. Not not catastrophic. F- from what do I take the damage? Um, you know, like, when dancers do, like, death drops? Yes. It's like that, do but, I? but you didn't mean to do it, and so you Ow! just sort of, like, slam, <sighs> slam your knee into the ground. Oh, so, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. So How? is in, in a death drop position, just groaning. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, weekly from the ground I whisper yeah. kablam <laughs> inspiration <laughs> I try and style it out but don't manage it yeah. okay uh, I look at Merylwen and make a after you gesture <laughs> okay <laughs> Meryl, when you, you've seen the previous three attempts, this is probably going to be fine strength athletics check please Okay. I'm just going to drag Prudence out of the drop zone <laughs> <laughs> He's okay. been <laughs> shablammed unconscious. That is a 13. 13? Oh, f- <laughs> that's five points of damage. Uh, see, when I get to the bottom, I didn't like, I don't, I'm not, le- like, I've built up too much speed. Mm-hmm. So I don't, I, and I didn't bring my feet forward. So yeah. I just like, my feet get stuck and I just kind of like, just gradually. Yeah. Just... <laughs> and it's just like. Just spike. sand going along my shin. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah. Um, all right, Dob. Um, Go, Dob. Back You're inside up. the prison, Maybe. I think, Johnny. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. Well, what was it? It was strength. Strength check, yep, right? Strength of first six. Okay. I'm doing it by um, hooking the double-headed loop over the thing and yep. hold it so it goes in the, in the sort of cool. V of the neck. That is a twenty, dirty twenty. Ooh, all right, yeah. Um, you, uh, you, yeah, you, you just come into land uh, as if as if you do this all day every day. I survey so, the ground around we, me. We Everyone's rolling around. You, you? <laughs> so, um, yeah, same. It's, if you're all quite finished maiming yourselves, <laughs> it's not pretty by any any stretch of the imagination. But you can see just slightly further down uh, what passes for a beach here. Uh, there are three guards sort of investigating the wreckage of the balloon and being like, what the hell happened here? How did that happen? I hope there weren't loads of people aboard. They do not appear to have spotted you. Are we still okay. wearing our oh. guard uniforms? Yeah. Yes. Some of us are. Oh. Marilyn yeah. and I were never in... Um... You were always filthy prisoners. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. well, I mean, why don't we all hide behind this rock and make a plan? The big rock that Marilyn shot an arrow into. Okay. Yeah. Well, why don't we okay. go up and tell them that we're from the balloon reclamation team and we're... Come down to get it. Yeah, phase three. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, okay. Was that the? I didn't realise that was the. That's the plan, was it? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, well, I mean, that's phase. Three. I, I generally don't like to overwhelm the party right, right, with right. all yeah, the phases yeah. at once. But I mean, I didn't want to assume. Um, but no, yeah, no, it no. Sounds, no, like, it's, sounds it's, like you've got it all. It's totally fine. Yeah. Um, but it sounds like phase three is a go. So. Go for go for phase three. Go for phase three. Okay. Go, uh, I'm going to stride over there and go. Oh, what the bloody. Oh. I follow Corazon. Look at this mess. Someone's going to have to clean this up. Yeah. Sorry, it's... Uh, hi, my name's um, Whit- Whitmer. I'm from the balloon reclamation team. Looks like we've had a real oh, a real prang here, haven't we? 
Uh, did you see what happened? Uh, well, yeah, the balloon, um, we're doing all right, and then it just, you know, uh, it looked like it got hit by an enormous cannonball and then, uh, shot down. Is everything all right in the prison? Oh, yeah, everything's all right in the prison. I think, um, they were, there was someone cleaning the cannons. I think it must have gone off accidentally. Real, real mess. Oh, well, um, we should be able to salvage this, though. I mean, uh, we can take it from here if you, if you want to get back to it. I don't want to leave the seas undefended. So... Salvage, you reckon you can salvage this? Well, I don't, I don't know. I'd have to have a proper look at the damage. I mean, it's a real state, but uh, I think we should probably get it off the beach, don't you? Make me a charisma persuasion check, please, Corazon. Okay. Come how on. many are there? How, how many? Three. Um, three. Three, okay. It's 13 plus uh, three, 16. Oh, and also, do I have, a, no, I don't have persuasion. All right, fine. Fine then. 16. He straightens his jacket and he goes, Hold on a minute. You say you're from Balloon Reclamation? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a division of a larger um, right. organisational structure. It's an yeah. umbrella org. We sit, uh, we sit under logistics. various... Yeah. Right. We sit under logistics, but above... But when a balloon goes down, yeah. then we're part of Balloon Reclamation. Yeah, well, uh, this is the problem. The balloon literally just came down. I mean, it's yeah. still smoking. The yeah, guy inside saw. has only just stopped gargling. <laughs> yeah, real problem. You're here a bit quick, aren't you? You sure you uh sure you didn't know this balloon was gonna go down? Is this some sort of inside job scam or something? Inside job what's sorry, what do you think I plan to gain from this? I'm gonna have to spend all day putting this balloon back together. I this don't is know. a f- this is a full day's work for me. No, I got down here. You see this can you see the zip line? That's dangerous. Yeah, it's dangerous. That's how much I wanna get this balloon off the beach where it could be salvaged by any. Yeah, I broke group my of- knee. Look. Yeah, she hurt herself. We Ooh, got. Bam. Yeah, it's the wrong way. Bam. But yeah, we've got we got immediate orders to go and get it off the beach before some rapscallions ran off with it. All right, make me another charisma persuasion check, please. I just want to whisper oh, to Meryl no. when an Egbert, like, do you think we should be creeping towards the boat or not? Maybe. I mean, I want to see where the that boat is. Like where the is boat the is boat? a functioning piece of transport, and the other thing isn't really a functioning piece of transport. Yeah. Where, it's where only a six, I'm afraid. Let's have a look for the boat. So you've got the rock, mm-hmm. and then you've got the guards having a conversation with the other guards mm-hmm. and the flaming wreckage, and the boat is the other side of them. Okay. It's about sort of 20 foot further okay. down the beach. Okay. Uh, the guard, the the boat guard goes, no, nah, look, I'm sorry about this. I'm not having this. There's something not right here, and I don't know what you're trying to pull, but firstly, it's suspicious that a balloon gets shot down by somebody inside the prison. Then you say the prison's all fine, and then you say that you're here from balloon reclamation. It's just a little bit too tidy. I don't know if you're aiming for a promotion or something. Well, but, well um, okay, why don't we go Why don't we go back up to head office? We can talk, you can talk it out with her, and you can talk to my superior. You want to go back up there? We can go up there. I mean, it's, a, it's time I don't have to spend fixing this bloody balloon. Suits me. And we'll just look we'll just leave your boat and we'll leave this balloon and then whoever can just come along and take them. It's fine by me, mate. Look, don't fine be like by that, me. Mate. Look, I'm just saying this is highly irregular. Well, I'm just saying, I'm just trying to do my job. Well, so are we. Well, alright, well there must be some something we can sort of work out here so that we're not just standing here arguing on the beach. Yes. I think he wants a bribe, Corazon. Right. Corazon. Right. Hey, man. You said your name oh. was um <laughs> Oh, Fen- Eldritch Fen- Blast, Eldritch Blast, Eldritch Blast him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, no, Prudence. Yeah, make me that roll. It's canon. That's canon. <laughs> this is why we bribe. <laughs> well, we can't bribe because you Ooh, throw a rare lapse. You know the phrase, Corazon. Give a bribe, mm. save a life. <laughs> okay, I'm going to spend my inspiration. <laughs> because that wasn't good enough, that was only <laughs> Oh, that was only 10. This is a 14. Uh, that will certainly do it. Okay, cool. Uh, and um, wait, there's three of them. Yeah. So I'm going to hit the, the foremost two. Okay. Why not? So another roll for the second dude. Mm-hmm. Standing slightly further back. And that's an 18. That is also decidedly 14 and 18. So uh, make me damage rolls, please. Let's, let's get a sweet damage roll in here. And I add my charisma and... Okay, first one is... 
That's a six plus my charisma, which is of course a five, so that's eleven, and a four plus a five, which is nine. Okay, they don't die, but you throw both of these guards off their feet. Uh, one of them smashes into the side of the boat and is really quite severely hurt. They are writhing around on the floor as if they've just like done a death drop off a massive zip line and <laughs> smashed their knee into the ground. Uh. Corazon, can you finish this third guy, please? Um, oh, God, all right. I guess I'm going to attack the other oh. guard. Sure, yeah. With, he, yeah. He, was, he was stunned. He's just like, uh, hi. Uh. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh, sorry. Are you, are you ready to surrender? <laughs> uh, you don't. It's not clear in this moment. To uh, to Merylwen and Egbert, I say, just wait. Silver tongue falls on. We'll get us out of this fix. Uh, all right. I would I would like to attempt to tie him up. Just make me a strength athletics check, please. Okay, that's uh, twelve. I rolled a sixteen. <gasps> So uh, he's going to duck under your arm and, and be like, ha, ha, ha. He's going to fumble. He starts fumbling for a sword. He's going to pull it. He's like, um, uh. Hurry up and stab oh, that no, sucker. Don't Let's go. Oh, I All right. That... I'm going to attack him. Then. Okay. <laughs> but uh, I would like to try and just hit him with the pommel of my rapier you, to try and can, knock him out. Yeah, you can always say that you're trying to knock someone out rather than kill them. So. Yeah. So um, it's still a finesse weapon, though, which means sneak attack time. Yep. I mean, yeah, he's not. He's also not made an attack. Not that we're in initiative, but okay. Well, he yeah, absolutely so I'm gonna qualifies. At- I'm going to attack him. Okay. Corazon, don't worry. I'm sure by now the others will be safely aboard the boat and ready to like jet yeah. away. So run me through the plan again, Doc. What was happening? <laughs> Egbert, when when you're ready for phase four, phase four will be made clear to you. Right, don't okay. Worry. Fine. Okay. Okay. I rolled a thirteen. Okay. Yeah, it's it's comparable to the to the Eldritch Blast on the guy who got thrown against the boat. You basically just with the scabbard of no the handguards, excuse me, of your rapier, you just punch him full on in the face. Um, nice. And you get one of those sort of like horrible glorious sprays where it goes like and like spits and a small amount of blood and more than a, a couple of teeth just kind of like and land on sort of the craggy pebbles of of this beach. Um and sort of make a hiss as they land on the flaming boards of the uh, the balloon. He right. is down and kind of just like, uh, uh. none of them is unconscious or dead, um, and none of them is is particularly dying. But they are certainly mm. they're not hurt real bad. They're not mad keen on escalating this. It seems like they're just a bit like, oh, oh. Uh. Okay, um, right. Well, yeah. uh, what uh, what are the others doing? I see this and I just start legging it towards the boat. <laughs> <laughs> I am um, with Egbert and I uh, stand up and survey the beach and my eyes briefly widen uh, and I turn back to Egbert and say, oh good, phase four. Right. <laughs> oh, good. Right. Yeah, Everything's going according to plan. <laughs> All right, Egbert, in this phase, you and I get to, well, you'll see. Come on. <laughs> and right. I, I follow Dom. Yeah. Running to the boat. Just going to try and jump over this hurt people into the boat, I guess. Yeah, before um, I run to the boat, is there anything salvageable from the wreckage of the balloon? Ooh, is there a big propeller motor thing that we could attach to the boat? That's good. Oh, yeah, a lighter, turn it into a speedboat. You're welcome. I cast an appraising eye over the wreckage. Yeah, sure. Make me a... Um, let's call it investigation. Okay. Can I look as well? Yeah, of course you can. Thanks. Like, again, these guards aren't, aren't about to 18. start anything. Ooh, hello. Maybe. <laughs> okay, um, you can see that there is a uh, Corazon. This is you can see that there is indeed sort of a one of a few propellers that were designed to just co- sort of gently push the airship along. Um, is there its mechanism is largely intact, um, and it sort of it's got its own it's got its own little contained thing. It's almost like an outboard motor. Hmm. Um, all you need to do is hook it up to sort of a, a, like just a, a fire. Um, like a wood burner, Great. which there may well be on on this boat. It's probably worth taking with you. All right, I'm going to grab that mm-hmm. and then head for the boat. Egbert, you find what used to be a really big ornate ship's bell, like a big brass <laughs> bell, that in the heat of the the fire has just like just mangled. So it's just like a big lump of like just brass. Uh, but if Got you it. shake it quite hard, it kind of goes clunk, clunk, clunk. Yeah. 
Clank, clank. What I found, guys. Clank, clank, clank. It's very nice. Epic, get on the bloody boat. <laughs> clank, clank, clank. <laughs> I'm going. I would like to. Let him have uh, just, his new toy. <laughs> I'd like to just sprint plank, plank, up to the plank. sort of hull of the ship and just kind of like shoulder barge it and just try and sort of push it out into the shallows. And as I do that, can I cast sleep on the three guards? Uh, oh. Yes, absolutely. Um, okay. Uh, make me ro- just roll me sleep. All right. I'm gonna f- I'm gonna fire this baby out of a third level slot. Yeah. <laughs> Egbert, as you, like, before you were just like, this is a fun toy, ha 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 ha. Clank, 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 clank. But then as you continue to ring it, you, a sort of a warm glow starts to suffuse your being, and you're like, this does sound quite a bit like a cowbell, actually. <laughs> and it distantly, kind of from over the horizon, you hear like a please, like, oh. a tribute to my god. <laughs> I, I'll never stop playing it. Clank, 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 clank. Hope no one wanted a big rest on this boat ride. Clank, 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 clank. There is a, there is a second moo that seems to say, this sound pleases me. You should use it to, to sound your greatest victories. Okay. Small, bra- small brackets, but only your greatest victories. Okay, I stopped clanking it. <laughs> there was a third moo that sort of says, oh. <laughs> That's good. I was worried Egbert was going to be like a kid in the back of a car with a bop it. <laughs> <laughs> just like, just can't get past that second twist it. It's like, yeah. oh, it's right there. <laughs> uh, how did you do with sleep, Dov? Uh, I rolled a total of 31, if I've done the Whoa! math right. That's more than enough to put these three under um, in their, their slightly enervated states. Yeah, they, they all just like conk out. They're going to wake up a minute later, not knowing how long they've been asleep. And uh, yeah, to all intents and purposes, it looks like there was a horrible balloon crash and they got thrown from the wreckage. So, mm, Of course. So we've got up. a minute to get clear of this place. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, let's set out to sea. I'm going to fire up this outboard motor. Um, yep. There is indeed a small sort of wood stove in the uh, in the ship just to sort of... Because these patrols are along, like, along. And going up the tower is quite a long way. So there's quite a few provisions and stuff. There is, in fact, a small like kettle of stew on the boil. Yes. For the um, for the three people whose uh, boat you just violently robbed, <laughs> but yeah, you're you're able to to get it away. Um, you you're gonna have to row it out, but you you row it out while Corazon um, tries to fix up the outboard motor. And yeah, I'm gonna say you you rig it up quite successfully. Pretty soon, you're kind of just like put 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 put, heading out into the waters uh, off Bedford just motoring your way out. I would like to stand on the prow and go, ah, phase five. <laughs> <laughs> so called because that's how many months it's going to take us to get to the tangle. <laughs> so we're going to sort of slightly montage this. It does take you quite a while. Egg, but what happened to that seal of yours? It's still around, right? No, but didn't you leave it back in Bedford? Didn't yeah. you no, tell it to we... swim here? Didn't you board him in the seal kennels? No, we talked about potentially leaving him with Bob, but then we didn't. So where is he? You so. find him, in fact, in the ship's galley, whether he swam to you, um, right. sensing your location or not. You find him in the ship's galley just with his head in the stew kettle. Like, hey, that's my boy. Yeah, there. That's sweet. That's for all of us. <laughs> Boom. Boom. <laughs> what? Let's Let's do something cut. with your seal. How are you? <laughs> Blah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, yeah, he's he's consumed maybe a fifth of the stew. But right, we're gonna. This is this is going to be a long rest. Um, we are going to sort of montage this because it's a few days sort of like motoring, mm. um, sort of along the coastline. One of the um, defining features of the tangle is that it is grown around uh, a very large, ancient sort of winding river that flows through Gath. It's it is its longest and sort of uh, broadest and deepest river. Uh, that flows into the sea so you are able to kind of like just very slowly sort of start making your way along the coast and then um, into the estuary and and up it's slow going against the current but um, all in all it's it's quite pleasant all apocalypse now (laughs) inspiration yeah Yeah. you you while away the hours sort of playing music uh, telling tales healing up your horribly singed back um, (laughs) regaining spell slots and so on and so forth yeah generally speaking it's 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 quite pleasant the humidity and the heat and the closeness of the air really starts to climb as you start to uh, make your way from just like river estuary into the tangle itself and then pretty soon the current of the river 
uh, like in the main channel, is getting a bit too strong for the boat's motor to handle. And on the sides, there are kind of so many roots from trees sort of dipping into the water and creatures sort of along the banks that um, you, you're struggling to make any appreciable headway mm. with the um, with with the boat. You may have to hoof it. Okay. Well, when when we saw the map of the area mm. where the mm. palace was. Were there, what were the landmarks around where the palace was that we can sort of use to navigate to it? So, I'm going to say, Prudence, you're, you're probably mildly fascinated with this thing, right? Mm-hmm. I'm going to say, over the course of sort of your journey, you discovered that if you press the sort of, press down the button where the moats came out of, you can get it to repeat the trick where it shows you where you're supposed to be going. Oh, cool. Um, it it's even got a replay seems- button. It even seems to have some sort of situational awareness where it knows where you are. So, okay. um, Prince and Corazon, you're kind of both poring over this thing, seeing where it is, and you reckon from about where you are, it can't be more than half a day's hike from this bend in the river to um, the temple of the the Thief Queen. All right, we're gonna have Who's to get out of this boat. Not, Sorry, not temple court. We're gonna have to get out of this boat, everyone. Yeah, disembark. So, Help yourself to the last of the stew. <laughs> oh, we already did. Okay. Oof. Okay. Anything else useful in this boat before we abandon it? No. All right. Anything good. for clearing the jungle? I don't have a bladed weapon. <laughs> oh, I've got bun- I've got loads of them. Okay, fine. I'm br- literally you bristling share. with hidden blades. You could like flamethrow it for us, Eggburn. I'm not into deforestation. The, <laughs> yeah. the jungle. Just blow a, you know, a straight line path straight <laughs> to can the we, pirate queen. Uh, can we get the boat across to one of the banks so we can disembark? Yeah, sure. That's not a problem. Um, you don't you don't have to worry about elegant parking since you're um, abandoning this thing anyway. Um, you are well, let's, taxing... mo- let's moor it anyway, just okay. in case. I mean, sure. Otherwise it'll just wreck it. We might need right. to retreat this way. Yeah. Maybe. Sure. All right. Then make me a deck sleight of hand check to see how well you do park the, the boat. Uh, <laughs> ah. uh, okay, with what various it? modifiers, it's a ten. Uh. <laughs> okay, um, I rolled a four. You, <laughs> you get a three. It, so three. You get it into the. You get it sort of alongside the shore, and you're able to moor it up. But um, fighting the current and kind of like bringing it into an area that was quite sort of clogged with silt and roots and stuff, you've really overtaxed the motor. So the sh- the she's never going to run smooth again. <sighs> This oh, well. is your what is this your third command? <laughs> uh, it it does it's not the number of commands, it's uh, the riches <laughs> and pretty, silks pretty good pretty good you... benchmark of <laughs> <laughs> all right fine <laughs> how many boats you go through. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my fault, all right. It's the boat's fault. I mean, it's in marginally better condition than your second ship, which is still being rebuilt after you grated it on land. Mm. Uh, again. Extenuating circumstance. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, no, I, 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 mine is not to criticise. Mine is solely to frame. Consider <laughs> the ship of Theseus. <laughs> <laughs> is that what this one's called? Yes. The ship of Corazon. <laughs> there is as, as none of the original parts remain, and yet it is the same ship. So think, I think on too that. Many everyone, original I say. parts remain. I think that's the problem. I think yeah, it right. needs a complete refit. <laughs> anyway, I say off into the jungle, and I start hacking away at the vines with a machete. I can't remember if I already gave you inspiration, but you certainly have it now. Everyone, make me... Hey, just make me a, a straight constitution check. Okay. Okay. Dirty 20. 18. 4. Oh, 17 five. plus 2. <laughs> 19. Marilyn, what was yours? 5. 5. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, so you're at home in nature. Is this too much nature? Not this kind of nature. It's the wrong kind of nature. Yeah, this mm. you you're not built for humidity like this. Is Meryl Wynn's hair? Meryl hair. Like, <laughs> I need dry heat. Meryl Wynn looks Meryl like she's is... bangs. Um. Uh, Meryl Wynn looks like she is literally wilting. Corazon, um, you've heard so many. Oh my god! <laughs> it always <laughs> does this <laughs> in the heat. <laughs> Um, you've heard so many tales of of, um, of diseases that people get, you know, like malaria and, and other such diseases, uh, uh, that you f- you feel like you have it. You're coming over in like cold chills. Uh, it's purely psychosomatic, but you're having a terrible, terrible time oh. here in the jungle. 
I hate um, it here. You are, in fairness, getting ah. quite a few insect bites in your scalp, which is just the worst. Ah. Mm. So you, you are looking more and more dishevelled by, by the second. Everyone else is kind of doing fine. Like, any mosquitoes that try and bite uh, Egbert, just... They, they can't their little get... things get all bent. Yeah. Like, whack, scrunched yeah. up. Uh, one tried to bite Prudence and immediately caught fire. Yes. Um, and, and served as a warning to the others. There was a yeah. cloud that just went... <laughs> <laughs> Tell them what you've seen. And left. Do- Again, mine is not to criticise, but Dob, you do go on a lot about how much you smell. <laughs> um, so yeah, while and, there is... And who's laughing now? Mosquitoes won't touch me. Exactly. You do feel like there is something, some kind of like scavenger that preys on like the rankest of carrion in the jungle, maybe is following you at a distance in the bushes, just intrigued by your unique well, scent. Keep it at a distance, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> but for the time being you are you go without any insect bites whatsoever. It thinks surely he will drop dead soon with a stench like that. <laughs> it cannot do wrong. Um, Corazon, much of your ill feeling, however, sort of um, is burnt off by a sense of, exci- sense of excitement and wonder as kind of you pull down one particularly large and um, ostentatious leaf and as you do that there is a perfectly sized sort of looking hole for you to look through <gasps> and before you you see exactly as the orb kind of showed it to you uh, you see the court of the thief queen it is this enormous kind of um, it, it does almost look like a temple in the jungle um, this enormous kind of palatial building and you realise very quickly to your wonder that if you had any inkling that it might be abandoned and just waiting for you to pick over, it's you're, you're wrong. Uh, oh. There are people living here, like a lot of people. Mm. There are, just as the orb showed you, there are kind of these houses and there are little sort of lean-to shelters and shanties. It seems like there is a really healthy population that is just living out here. It's In fact, it's, it's raucous. It reminds you of some of the more... Um, more lively pirate ports you've been in on Tortuga. your on your journey. Yeah, mm. it's 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 very like yeah, it's very Tortuga esque. As you start to sort of maybe I can get a decent drink around here. <laughs> I think. Well, as you start to sort of head in toward this this place, it's not been aggressively deforested by the way, but there is a sort of natural clearing here. So, um, Meryl, when you also sort of perk up a bit because the press of the jungle is less sort of immediate but um you can hear music being played sort of fiddle and drums and and, and concertinas and uh there are people calling to one another in thieves cant being like oh hello me my hearties and uh a very good day to you also you pass a pub called the really twisted harpoon um and uh yeah people are just sort of lounging in the sun you see one of them go oh look george adventurers and uh a, a particularly mean looking pirate called george uh, calls out says uh, Good day, freshly arrived here at the court of the Thief Queen. This is Thieves Camp, f- f- folks, I'll, I'll take it from here. What's he um, saying? Prudence, he said blah, 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 blah. Yes, hello. Hello, lovely to see you folks. Having a lovely time here. This is rather splendid, the setup you've got here. Isn't it? Isn't yes. it just? I it's assume wonderful. you're here to pay tribute to the Thief Queen and, and sort of join the ranks. Is that well, right? I, well, I, I mean, I, I always thought this place was a legend, but I discovered an old map you know how it is when you're out adventuring and it said said it was a real place i would you could have knocked me down with a feather old boy indeed i mean we were as surprised as you i mean uh, we didn't realize this place was 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 actually real and then sure enough uh uh, you know uh, the thief queen comes along and she she says behold i have a court now it exists for the first time in hundreds of years there's a thief queen on the throne and uh, ev- everyone come and pay me tribute, which is just smashing. Anyway, what's with the rubes? Is this some some sort of long oh, con? We're a- Are you going to stab them to death and take their wallets? No, no, no. We're an adventuring party, old, old man. I discovered going around with just rogues, it's uh, it's a little unbalanced, isn't it? You know, you need to have that uh, team comp. As, oh, I don't uh, know about that. As we call it. Well, I, I found it's working for me so far, but... Um, no, they're sort of tagging along. If that's mm-hmm. okay, if that's mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. that's all right with you folks. Mm-hmm. So how how does it work? Do we we make an appointment or oh. just? <laughs> oh, very droll. No, uh, nobody nobody goes to see the thief queen. You come here when you you want a bit of R and R, and you have to mm-hmm. pay obviously a tithe of of what you've stolen since you of course, of course. you last came to court, and then you're allowed to carry on visiting here and generally existing and being a thief. And uh, ah. if if you do something spectacular to catch the queen's eye maybe she will grant you an audience but i mean we'd, we'd 
You know, we've certainly not been, and if we've not been, I mean, we're the greatest rogues here in the court of the Thief Queen. Hmm. Oh, indeed, indeed. Um, so where, when, when, where does the tithe, how does that work? Oh, you just go to the tithe office. Tithe office. Yes. Right, right. And uh, finally, last question. Is there anywhere around here I could get some conditioner? Ah, yes. Uh, is a bit of a trouble, isn't it? Yes, uh, yes. Yes. Uh, you want to go to the conditioner office? Right. So okay. Just across the road from the tithe office. Okay. Right, right, right. Mm. All right. Well, thank you very much. You've both been most helpful. Uh, I'll buy you a drink in the very twisted harpoon if I see you in there later. Ha! Huh, joyful. All right. Toodaloo. Without breaking stride, he goes, Toodaloo and welcome to the court of the thief queen. You interesting uh, friends of this charming and most deadly rogue. Thanks. Thank Thanks. you. Hey. Hello. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Um, all right, folks, we need to, uh, we need to head over to the, uh, the, tithe, the tithing office. Um, it's opposite the conditioning office, which we'll be heading to first. All right. So I explained the situation to the others about the tithing and the doing something incredible to catch the attention of the Thief Queen. Uh, so they're up to date. Well, we want to catch the attention of the Thief Queen because, as far as we know, the Shard is inside... It's inside that, this temple. That temple. Um, Dob, so maybe or... if you do a backflip... Uh, yeah, well, I mean, that could be an Im- incredibly impressive feat of roguishness. Well, we need to pay. We need to pay a tithe before we're even allowed to be here, and then That's do probably, a backflip. What's the probably. tithe? Ten percent? Twenty percent? I don't know. We've got to go to the office to find out. Oh. If you have let's to go- ask. <laughs> Can't afford it. Right. Let's go to the office of this exciting thief mm. town. <laughs> right. Let's do our taxes. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Okay. You you go on in, and there is um a man sat behind the counter he's he's like sort of quite thin he's sort of getting on in age he's got sort of silver hair and he wears glasses and um he says hello welcome to the tithe office do you have a tithe to pay tax doesn't have to be taxing <laughs> uh yeah we're new in town and would like to stay a while right okay um is this your first visit hmm indeed oh okay well um obviously it wouldn't be fair for us to take a tithe of everything you've ever stolen um so the way the tithe works is um, you, you'll pay on your next trip here, which you're required to make uh, once a year if, if you're um, just sort of uh, operating under your own auspices. But you have to do it quarterly, obviously, if you're, you've formed your own thieves' guild. Sure. Um, you have to pay um, 20% of, of everything you've stolen since, since last year's tithe up to a certain threshold. Uh, and then sort of it increases, but we can talk about that. Mm. Um, later on. Now we are registered as a guild, but Corazon, you were explaining that for tithe purposes, we are individual adventurers. Yeah. Was that for right? tithe purposes? <laughs> these and are also, all you and I are married. Is that right? Yeah. 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 Oh, Dob- <laughs> yeah. that much is assumed. I mean, we, uh, sure, we have a tithe office and a system, and that you know there are rules. But also, let's not forget here, we are all thieves. <laughs> so, um, right, 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 right. right. Uh, it, for your first visit, it is simply just a one-off payment, um, ten gold pieces. Um, uh, each and uh, you are given the liberty of the uh, the court of the the thief queen. Great. I, mean, I think gold. we should um, pay it. I think we should pay it, Corazon. Yeah. Does I it have... make a difference that I am registered in Panama? Ah. Uh, and also, I have been accused of uh, hiding assets offshore. <laughs> and also, I made an in- a loss last year. I made my my entire year was just a write off. So, I think I pay zero tithe probably. <laughs> Most of my my finances are elsewhere. <laughs> Is this working at all? Do you want me to roll for charisma persuasion? Yeah, can, can get a charisma persuasion <laughs> check from all the tax dodgers, please? Yeah, do a tax evasion roll. <laughs> I don't believe you could accuse Dob of being a tax dodger when he's... Okay, no, that's fair. Okay, um, that's 22 uh, from Egbert. Dirty 20 oh, from Corazon. <laughs> Was it charisma? filthy scammers. Yep. 22. <laughs> uh, he goes... Oh, no, fair enough. Just the ladies, then. Uh, ten gold pieces, uh, please. I pay yep. ten gold pieces. Thank because you. in an unlikely fashion, Prudence yeah. is very serious about paying her taxes. Yeah. Tax? <laughs> As the treasurer, I take three gold pieces out of each of Dob, Corazon, and Egbert. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah cut. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. one from my own. Yeah. <laughs> Seems fair. <laughs> oh, no. Merylwen's taking money from the money that she knows about. Meryl yeah. Wynne controls a portion of our assets. She's got the cash flow 
You know, the, the petty yeah. cash. Yeah. Merwin has all the receipts. I swear. She was not me. Oh, gift. I have all the receipts, Dom. <laughs> um, the man behind the counter goes, all right, well, that's that's everything. Uh, enjoy the city. Um, oh, do let me know if your circumstances change or if you want to register as uh, P-A-Y-E, which, of course, is pay-as-you adventure. Um, <laughs> and uh, we'll, we'll see you very soon. Thank you. Cool. <laughs> right, okay, good. We can stay. So... We need to do something. Let's go to the pub because that'll be a nicer place mm-hmm. to hang out than here in the. I buy some conditioner as well. I know That's what important. would get us an audience with the thief queen. Steal from her. Oh, That's risky, but I like it. It's just bold enough it... that she might see she a little bit of herself all. in us. <laughs> all that, yeah. All Especially that. if we steal it's... a little bit of herself. Mm. When we steal what, her chop a toe legs. off or something. I yes. can't believe Marilyn has reservations about this plan. <laughs> well, no, no, I just think, aren't we trying to steal something from her anyway? Right? This is true. Uh, it's true. Yeah, yeah. That's a yeah, fair point. <laughs> so maybe we just steal the thing. Let's cut out maybe the Maybe we steal step. the thing that we're here for, and then she'll be so impressed that she'll give it to us. Marilyn has just initiated phase six. <laughs> <laughs> you, you had it in you, Marilyn. <laughs> You complete your purchases in the conditioner store. 90% of the conditions here smell like coconut, by the way. Ooh, um, yes. Of course, lovely. As you emerge from the conditioner store, um, basically all of you just walk out and goes, oh, okay. And there is a spear point pointed at the hollow of uh, each of your throats. And there are some like armed guards there, sort of with shields and with spears over the top. Oh, all no. of them looking very menacing. I um, swear I paid for all this conditioner, <laughs> I say. <laughs> Two bottles of conditioner. Maybe that was your mistake, <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, That's just where I keep it. <laughs> we don't care about your conditioner. You ought to come with us. Have you seen these split ends? All right, fine. The queen wants a word. Yes. <gasps> wow. Great. That's surprisingly easy. All right. Maybe she was really impressed by our tax dodging and wants some tips. Yep. Yeah.